Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing how to crochet oversized granny square open cardigan. And for the materials, I'm going to use different yarn colors of which they are all 100% acrylic DK yarn, 4mm crochet hook, scissor, stitch markers, yarn needle to join all your 5 pieces together after joining your granny squares together. To begin making a granny square, make a magic ring. Insert the hook inside yarn over like this and chain one. Now make three double crochet inside the magic ring. Chain two and this is your first corner. Make more three double crochet inside the magic ring. Chain two again to make your second corner. And just keep pulling this yarn tail under here. Make more three double crochet inside the magic ring. Chain two again to make your third corner. Make more three double crochet inside the magic ring. Now you have three corners to make your fourth corner chain two this time around you're not going to wait to make any more three double crochet inside the magic ring you are just going to pull this yarn tail under here to close your circle in between like this as you can see you have a total of three completed corners and this is the fourth one so now just slip stitch on top of this very first double crochet stitch you have started with to close your work chain one and you can cut off the yarn because to move on to round two you're going to use a different yarn color To move on to round two, make a slip knot. And you're going to start in any corner of your trees. Just insert the hook inside like that. Pull through this loop like that. Chain one to secure your work. Then make three double crochet inside that space. Once you make three double crochet, now make three double crochet inside the next corner. Chain two to complete your corner, then make three more double crochet into that same space. This is how your corner must be looking like. Next, make three double crochet in, into the next corner. Just the same thing you have done for the previous corner. By making three double crochet inside the corner, chain two and three double crochet back into the same space. And this is just how you're going to complete your corners. Next, for this corner, since it's incomplete, the one you have started with, now make a three double crochet into that same corner. Chain two. Slip stitch on top of the first double crochet stitch you have started with to complete your corner. Chain one to secure your work and you can cut off the end because to move to round three again again to use a different yarn color.
next make a slip knot as usual you can cut in any corner of your choice or in these spaces doesn't matter but i recommend you to start in this in one of the corner i mean so just insert the hook like this pull through always chain one just to fully secure your your work then make three double crochet inside that corner make three more double crochet into the next space make three double crochet into the next space which is the corner in this spaces between corners just make three double crochet only but in corners you have to make three double crochet chain two three double crochet more into the same space to complete your corners chain two make three more double crochet inside this same space to complete your corner three double crochet into the next space and just continue doing that all the way until end of this round Remember at the end you must always come end in this corner that you have started with. At the end here, here just to complete your corner by making three double crochet into this same corner you have started with. Remember because it was incomplete. Chain two, slip stitch on top of the first double crochet stitch you have started with to join your work. Chain one to close and cut off the yarn again because next you are going to move to the other round with a different yarn color. So for this next round, actually we are just going to repeat the previous round. So just make a slip knot and start in one of the corner. Chain one like that. Always just put your yarn tails behind there because we are going to weave them in later. Make three double crochet inside that space which is the corner. Remember you are always coming to complete it at the end. 3 double crochet inside the next space and in each space between corners you are just going to make 3 double crochet only only in corners where you are going to make 3 double crochet chain 2 and 3 double crochet back into the same space but in these spaces between corners just make 3 double crochet and just move on with your work so just like this 3 double crochet inside this corner chain 2, 3 more double crochet and just continue doing that all the way until end of this round So just go ahead all the way until end here. To finish off, just chain one as usual and cut off the yarn because this is going to be the last round. Or if you want your granny squares bigger, you can keep adding more rounds. But in my case, I'm just going to end here. Pretty much welcome to use any yarn colors of your choice. Either the same colors for all granny squares or different colors. For this cardigan, I made about 56 granny squares in total, but I will suggest you to make up to 50 granny squares because extra 6 granny squares of which 3 squares from each sleeves ended up not being used because it made my sleeves to be way too long, of which is not a good length. So I'm only suggesting you to make only up to 50 granny squares if you are making size small. So here is the pattern or layout for the back panel which consists of 4x4 four four, which is equal to 16 granny squares in total. Each front panel consists of 2 by 4 which is 8 granny squares per panel which give us to 16 granny squares for both front panels. Each sleeve is made up of 3 by 4 of which I am recommending you to make only 3 by 3 because mine is 3 by 4 and my sleeves ended up way too long of which if you make 3 by 3 then you end up only having 9 granny squares per sleeve. Instead of having a total of 24 granny squares for both sleeves you must only end up having a total of 18 granny squares. This brought us to a total of 50 granny squares instead of 56 granny squares for this entire cardigan. But don't let this limit you if you actually depending 
to the size of the cardigan you are making so you better try to keep trying this on yourself to make the right measurements when you are layering your granny squares make sure there is no color repetition which means any granny square that's of the same color they must not be repeating they must not be near each other just like this as you can see this is just how i have arranged my granny squares so next i'm just going to show you how i'm going to how i have done so next i'm just going to show you how i'm going to join my granny squares together and i'm going to use the crochet as you go method you can use any yarn color of your choice in my case i'm using a different yarn color that I haven't used it on any one of the granny squares and i'm just going to grab one of the granny squares like this Chain one, make three double crochet inside this corner. Three double crochet into the next space. As well as into the next space, just actually continue making three double crochet in each space all the way until you reach, you reach the corner. So once you reach the corner, instead of chaining two that you usually do, because I don't want to have white spaces between my squares when they are joined, just chain one, then make three more double crochet inside that corner to complete it. Now just continue making three double crochet in each space all the way until you reach the corner, the next corner. In this corner, instead of completing it, just make three double crochet, chain one, turn your work, then you're going to attach your second granny square. Like that. Just make sure you have flipped your granny square. Like that. And make sure when you're attaching your granny squares together, both sides must be, all sides of the granny squares must be facing the same side. Which means, since you can see, these two granny squares are not facing the same side. One is facing up, the other one is facing down. Just make sure the other one must also be facing down. So to attach the second granny square, just yarn over and set the hook into this first corner of the second granny square, like that. Like you're making a double crochet, then you release the hook, insert it, insert the hook into this first stitch for the completed granny square, like that. Make more double crochet, one more double crochet into that corner. Just keep releasing the hook. One more double crochet until you have three double crochet in that corner. And do not skip any stitch for this first granny square. Next, you are going to move to the next space for the second granny square. Just like that, release the hook into the next stitch of the first granny square. Just like that, you are slip stitching. So just continue doing that all the way until the end. And just make sure in each stitch you have placed three double crochet. And on this first granny square, you must not skip any stitch. So just continue doing that all the way until the corner. I will meet you once I reach the corner to show you the next step. Actually, this is how your work must be looking like when you, are jo you have joined your granny squares together. So just go ahead doing that all the way and until you reach the corner here. I will meet you once I reach the corner to show you the next step. So in the corner here, once you get three double crochet in this space, just chain one. And now you're going to move just to this second granny square. Flip your work like this for them to face up. And just continue completing this corner for the second granny square. Make three double crochet without attaching it to any of the 
squares so just go ahead making three double crochet in each stitch all the way until you reach this corner once you reach this corner just do the same thing we have started with by making three double crochet in here chain one three more double crochet then continue making three double crochet in each stitch all the way up here then once you reach here just make three double crochet here chain one then i'll meet you to show you how you're going to attach the third granny square and this is just what i mean three double crochet in this corner chain one three more double crochet into this corner just to complete it And now I'm just going to continue making three double crochet in each stitch all the way up until I reach the other corner. So once you reach this corner, just chain one, turn your work and flip your granny squares like this. Because next you're going to attach your third granny square. Why else you are just going to attach it the same way you have attached this second granny square to the first one. Actually, you're just repeating the same process you have attached your second granny square to the first one. By making three double crochet in the um, in the other granny square that you're attaching to the completed one, and, and on the one that's having the extra round, you're only sl slip stitching in each stitch without skipping any stitch. So just go ahead doing that all the way until you reach the corner. Once you reach the corner, just repeat the same process all the way, then continue doing the same thing all the way. Then once you reach here, I'll meet you to come show you the next step. Just make sure always here, once you reach this point, just always chain one and you can turn your work like this. Then just continue making three double crochet in this corner to complete it without attaching it to this other granny square. Just like this. Normal double crochets without attaching it to any granny square. And just continue making three double crochet in each stitch, all the, I mean in each space all the way until you reach the corner. Once you reach the corner, instead of chaining two, always just chain one. So once you reach this corner here, chain one, make more three double crochet back into that same corner to complete it. And next you're just going to, to work all the way back here until here by making three double crochet in each space here then i'll just make you once i reach this part to show how i'm going to work at this part we have where these two granny squares have met So once you reach this part, chain one, then try to look for the chain one space between your joint part here. Slip stitch, chain one again. Now complete this corner by making three double crochet in it. And just continue making three double crochet in each space all the way until you reach this other part where the, your granny squares have met again you have just to do the same thing you have done here so chain one try to look for the chain one space between your granny squares here just to slip stitch Chain one again and complete your corner for the next granny square and just continue doing that all the way until you reach the corner here.
I'll meet you once I reach the corner to show the next step. Make three double crochet in this corner. Chain one, turn your work like this. Because next you are going to move to the next round or the next row actually for attaching your next granny squares. Then you are going to do it a little bit different. So just make a double crochet in the corner. Just make sure your granny squares are facing the same side. Once you have joined here by chaining one slip stitching chain one, now you're going to work back up here all the way going up. So just try to flip your work like this, make more three double crochet in this corner just to complete it without attaching it to any of the granny square. Chain So just go ahead attaching your granny square to, to the other one all the way down like this. The same way you're attaching your other granny squares to the other one. So once you reach here, always chain one. Try to look for the chain one between here. Slip stitch into it. Chain one again. Then you complete the other corner for this granny square here. I'll meet you actually once I reach this part to come show you how I'm going to do this part. So once you have made your first three double crochet in the corner for this other granny square, just chain one. Try to look for the part where the, your granny squares have met. Slip stitch into this chain one where your granny squares have met. Chain one again. Now make three double crochet in this corner. Actually just try to make one like this. Release the hook and attach your granny square to this other one like this. Release the hook again and just continue working in each stitch for the other granny square for this first row because now you are working on this grain attaching this granny square for the second row just like this so this is how between your granny squares between the rows so this is how the first row and the second row is gonna be looking like so next just continue doing that Just like that you just continue doing that all the way until you reach the here once you reach here i'll meet you to come show the next step so once you reach here and you have already made three double crochet for the for this corner the first three double crochet actually chain one try to look for the chain one space where you have joined your green squares as usual chain one again and just try to turn your work like this because next you're going to complete this corner by making three double crochet in here and in each space all the way up without attaching it to any of the granny square just like that so now just continue making three double crochet 
in each space all the way up once you read this corner just make three double crochet in here chain one then you have to attach your next granny square and that's just the pattern you're going to repeat all the way continue doing that all the way up here then come again attaching this granny square to the other granny square all the way up like this then down like this all the way up i'll make sure once i reach this part here to come show you the next step just remember always once you reach this part just chain one always and look for the chain one space where you joined your granny squares for the previous row row and chain one again before you continue to going to the next granny square just keep releasing the hook So just continue doing that all the way until you reach here so once you are done here just chain one and now you're just going to continue working up like this for this granny square without attaching it to any granny square so just go ahead and flip your work like that complete this corner by making the last three double crochet in it and just continue making three double crochet in each space all the way up once you reach that corner this corner actually here make three double crochet chain one make more three double crochet in it corner here chain one turn your work for the third round for the third row i'm just going to repeat the same thing you have done for the second row and this is just the pattern you're going to repeat for attaching your granny squares together Continue making three double crochet in each space all around until you reach the first corner you started with. 
just try to complete this last corner by making three double crochet into it slip stitch sorry chain one before slip stitch then slip stitch on top of this first double crochet stitch to join your work chain one and you can cut off the end because next you're going to join all your pieces together so since this is the sleeve which means it's going to be folded like this and that's just how you're going to do your to join all your granny squares together first row second row third row actually the second row from the second row third and fourth row are going to be joined the same way and just try, try to make sure when you're putting your pieces together this is the back panel so which means that and this is going to be the wrong side and that one must be determined by how your squares are facing as you can see this side and this side are not looking the same so it's actually up to you to choose which one is the right side and which one is the wrong side and this is just how you're going to layer your pieces and you're going to attach your front panels to, to the back panel by starting working here all the way up like this as well as on the other side and you're going to do so with a yarn needle and these are your sleeves actually for your sleeves also make sure the wrong side is the one that's out and the right side is inside like this just pull them together like this and for your sleeves actually you're going to to try once you have attached your front panels to the back panel try to mark the middle part first fold them like this and find the middle part once you get the middle part which is in my case I think it's somewhere here try to mark this part with a stitch marker so you can attach it to to the shoulders here to know how you're going to attach your sleeves to the cardigan actually it's just an indication where the middle part of your sleeve is and this is just the part that you're going to attach to your shoulders like this I decided to join my pieces with wrong parts facing each other. And I'm only working in front loops for each piece. When joining your pieces, do not try to skip any stitch, so just try to Insert the yarn needle in each stitch and just remember to grab only front loops for each piece. Try to attach the middle part of your sleeve to where both back panel and front panel have met, which is the shoulder part. And just continue until you have fully joined all your pieces together. Next, I'm going to meet you to show the next step, which is the ribbing part.
and when you are doing your ribbing, make sure the wrong side is the one that's out. Starting with cuffs, make a slip knot inside the hook in any of the stitch and chain 5. For sleeves, since mine are way too long already, I'm only making up to chain 5, but if you are making 3x3, three three, you can add more chains if you want your ribbing panel to be long for your cuffs. But since I made mine too long, of which mine are 3x4 granny squares, I'm only going to chain up to 5. Make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook and continue making a single crochet in each chain all the way until the fourth chain. Slip stitch into the first stitch, skip one stitch, slip stitch, chain one, turn your work, and now you're going to work in two back loops only. Single crochet into the first stitch as well as into the next stitch all the way until the second last stitch. Into the last stitch, single crochet into both loops, chain 1, 10 work and just repeat that. And just remember when you are attaching the ribbing part to the sleeve, always you must slip stitch into the first stitch, skip 1 stitch, slip stitch into the next one, chain 1, 10 work and just continue doing that all the way around until you are done making the ribbing part for your calves. Make sure you have chained one when joining your ripped parts together and still just continue working in two back loops only. At the end, try to grab both loops, chain one, and you can cut out the yarn. Because next, you're going to work at the bottom part of the cardigan, of which you're going to repeat the same thing you've done for your cuffs. You are going to, but for the bottom part of the cardigan, you're going to do more number of chains, but you're still going to skip a stitch in between. Try to make both sleeves to have the same number of stitches for your cuffs and you must try to When you are slip stitching try to skip some stitches in between actually one stitch in between when you are making ribbing panels for your sleeves And the same thing you are going to do for the bottom part of the cardigan when you are going to make the ribbing panel for the bottom cardigan 
bottom part of the cardigan actually you're also going to skip some stitches in between of which actually you're just going to skip one stitch in between you have just to work uh, across all the way down your chain skip stitch into the next the first stitch skip one stitch slip stitch into the next stitch chain one chain your work actually and that's just what you're going to do At the end chain one and cut off the yarn because next you're going to work across the sides of your cardigan across your front parts of your cardigan all the way up around the neck to create your neck bend For this ribbing part, you're not going to skip any stitch in between. Actually, you're just going to make a slip stitch in each stitch all the way up. And still, you're just going to make a chain of 8. And you're going to start into this very first stitch for the ribbing part of the bottom part of the cardigan all the way up. Chain 8, then make a single crochet back into the chain all the way, but do not skip any stitch in between. Try to go all the way up across the neck and all the way down again until you reach the other side of the bottom part of the cardigan's ribbing part.
Let the end just chain one cut of the yarn and you can weave in all your yarn tails.